this experiment, I'm going to be cooking an egg. I'm going to, I'm going to be explaining why it's considered an endothermic reaction and what kind of physical um, changes occur after it's done. So first off, we're going to start with the egg and cracking it onto the pan. I'm just going to let it... react for a little bit. I'll be explaining what's happening while this starts to cure. So first off, you can see a little bit of steam coming up due to the heat going inside of the egg. That's a, one of the main reasons why it's endothermic. And you can also see a little bit of bubbles forming inside the middle. That's due to like hydrogen trying to escape by getting trapped inside a bubble. There's still two decimal places. And also, yeah, just let it react for a little bit. And you can also see a little bit of water. It's like kind of liquidy when I first poured it out of the egg. And later on, you'll see it starts to get like a little bit harder, but not a full solid. I'll be explaining why. I see the bubbles are getting a little bit bigger because it's really trying to get out. And you can see like the shape is kind of like it's starting to get like more stiff, other than the last time it was like a straight liquid. And it's like kind of stuck to the pan, there's like no butter or anything. And the bubbles are starting to get like a bit wrinkly. And I also want to explain one more thing, is that the water that was inside the egg, that's starting to evaporate. So that's another main reason why it's endothermic. And the final thing I wanted to bring up was, as you can see, like, first it was like a liquid form. And now, like, when you start to shake it a little bit, it's like a straight solid. And as you saw, the hydrogen bubble just popped. And you can see, like, it was a liquid, now it's like a rubbery type solid. Why is that endothermic? Because the egg has to absorb heat for the reaction to start, but if it doesn't absorb heat, nothing will happen. And also the water is evaporating, that's also another reason why it's endothermic.